guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little video on using some new indie palettes. So I picked up, or I actually pre-ordered the Farrell palette and I just received it in the mail. And I've had the Divinity palette for a while. So I thought it would be fun to film a makeup look for you guys using both the palettes. I would like to do a dedicated video on each of them, but you know, time is limited and I thought, hey, better something than nothing. And hopefully down the line I'll have more time to play with each palette individually, but in case you guys were curious about these palettes, I thought I'd go ahead and post. First though, I do want to get into swatches so you guys can see what the shades look like on my skin tone, because obviously I didn't use every shade in the demo. So let's go ahead and swatch the Divinity palette. I swear to God, I feel like I already swatched this palette, and I don't know if I just haven't found the footage yet of when I swatched it. Maybe I accidentally like imported it in with a different palette that I was swatching or whatever I was talking about that day. But I figured I would swatch them again just in case I never found the footage and insert it into this video. Now this palette has some pretty hard to say names. So I'm just going to put the names on the screen. So this is the first row. Let me just hold up the palette too. So this is the shades in the first row. I did use this purple metallic shade on the one first one third of my lid when I created this look. And then let me swatch the last four shades. So these palettes, I thought this one would be a little bit more people of color friendly and I believe it is a little bit more um, people of color friendly compared to the Creepy Cute palette. I know a lot of my lighter skin toned beauty guru friends really enjoyed the Creepy Cute palette and I can make this work but for me it's like the pastels don't show up with the same level of intensity as I was expecting. Like this blue does not look this bright and vibrant on my eyes when I put it on. I could probably pull it off if I had like a white base um, but that's not usually how I do my makeup and I don't want to really change too much of how I do my makeup to make a certain palette work with my skin tone. But it's not unusable, it's just not my makeup vibes. I wear makeup every day and I honestly would never make the time to do that on a daily basis so that's why I don't love that palette. But this one I feel like definitely complements my skin tone more. It's definitely more geared for fall and yeah, I kind of wish they had a few more tones like this but you know it is what it is and I would really love to know how they decided to make the purple metallic I think that would be interesting to find out um, so this is the dragon child palette which is what makeup menagerie cosmetics used to be makeup monsters and they came out with a dragon child um, palette not very long ago so it was very weird that they all of a sudden decided to rebrand but there was like a whole thing about it on social media this is the new palette these shades really speak to me so I was like, yes, like I want it. I actually like these shades better than the ones in the Dragon Child. I didn't use all of them today, so I don't have a full-blown opinion on this palette yet, obviously, um, because it's my first time actually swatching it and using it. So the first row is like basic shades. I believe these would be good transitions for lighter skin tones. The shade is a little bit too cool tone for my crease. I like to use a warm shade in the crease, so that first row doesn't really do a whole lot for me. So let me swatch the next row. So these shades, I used this one on my lid and then these two in my crease today. Let me go ahead and swatch. These shades do swatch really nice. They are very powdery, so there is a lot of kick up when you're using the palette. So right now it looks like a you know, neutrals, pops of color, and then come the greens. Also, there's this hot, hot pink shade, which I didn't use today. These formulas kind of remind me a little bit of each other, actually. They're very powdery. And I feel like these are shades that you want to, like, pack on. You can't really blend them too much, because if you try to do that, they kind of blend away. Here's the green shades. I totally fucked that up and swatched it wrong. <laughs> Let me see if I can... Kind of extend them out a little bit so you guys can see them. Here they are. Okay, so there is the swatches for the Menagerie palette. And then this is the Divinity. So you do get a few extra shades in this guy. 
I can't remember prices, but I will, oh my gosh, mine's already, look at that. It's a new palette, you guys. <laughs> Brand new. So there is the shades. And I will put the names on the screen. These aren't too hard to say. Harmonia, Wolfing, Canis, Lupus, Alpha, Pack Leader, Alum, Alumi? A-L-L-I-U-M. I don't know how to say that. Night Eyes, Wisteria, Fenris, Ivy, and Hushara. I don't know how to say that either. Super pretty colors. They swatch really well. I'm going to go ahead and get into the demo now. Okay, guys, so I'm bringing you this new hip look. It's called Straight Out of the Shower, Testing Eyeshadow. And, of course, my dog has to be here to say hello. Teddy, if you ruin my makeup, I swear to God, we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to leave you outside when we're filming. He was laying very quietly, and as soon as the camera turned on, Teddy was ready to put on a show. To put on a show. Right, Ted's? Okay, I'm going to set him down because really I'm going to do some makeup today and I've actually been finding it pretty easy to edit videos where my whole face is done and I just do an eye look. So I'm excited for that. I did go a little crazy with the blush. I just watched um, Wayne Goss. He did like the Naughty Girl blush tutorial. It was like three minutes and I was like, Wayne, I've been doing that. <laughs> I've been doing that my whole life. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Okay. Keep it together. Teddy, go to bed. Come on. Go. He's going to be difficult. It's fine. We're just going to ignore him. Anyway, I got some new palettes. I got some new palettes. I thought it would be fun if I tried to film some kind of look with these palettes. Mostly I wanted to focus on this one because you guys haven't seen this on my channel before. This is the new... Feral Palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. They were formerly known as Makeup Monsters. So this is the Dragon Child Palette. Teddy. Oh my God. Okay, so this is their palette that they came out with also this year. This was one real confession, guys. I was really into indie brands for a second there. I still am, but I'm trying to be more selective. And this was one of those where I just like bought it because like, all my favorite YouTube beauty gurus were talking about it. It happens. It's not a bad palette. It's just not really me. But then when they announced this guy and I saw like the sneak peeks, I was like, yes, give it to me. So this is their new palette with their new brand. And then I bought the Creepy Cute palette again because all my favorite small YouTubers were talking about this brand. This is a cool palette. I can sort of make it work, but it's not my favorite. So I was really excited when they announced the Divinity palette because I felt like these shades would work better with my skin tone. So I kind of want to do like a green look. Um, we'll see how it goes. I have everything else on my face. So I just need eyeshadow. And then after that, I'm going to go to Ulta because I have $80 in store credit and I have a 20% off coupon. And Mama feels like, you know, using that coupon. Okay, Teddy, we get it. Okay, we get it. Just stop. Okay, so the first shade I want to go into is from the Divinity palette, this shade called Ocean, I believe. It's the Mustard Yellow, and this is a Morphe, I don't know, it looks like it's from their Gunmetal collection. Not really sure, but I'm just going to place this in the crease, because this is like a nice crease color. I feel like I'm going to do like 20 crease shades in this makeup look. I really also want to use this metallic purple because holy crap, when I swatched it, I literally shipped my pants. Like, it was so good. You guys, and Jordan Harris was talking about it too on her review of this palette. And she was going on about it. And I was like, I, I mean, it looks like a beautiful purple girl, but I don't know. But then once I swatched it, I was like, okay, Georgia, I get it. I see you. I get what you're saying. So this mustard is definitely very close to my skin tone. So if you guys can see it on the camera, I'd be pretty impressed. Now I want to go into the Feral palette. And let's try this yellow. It's called Night Eyes. And it's a yellow shade. It looks pretty pigmented. I'm just going to place it again in my crease. So I really like wearing yellows in my crease, you guys. These um, shades are pretty powdery. I feel like... 
I'm almost like blending them away. So that's what I have so far. Let's just put a little bit more on. Why not? And I'm going a little bit higher, just staying below my brow arch. I've been trying to figure out my eye shape and I definitely feel like I have very deep set eyes. For a moment I was like, do I have hooded eyes? And I don't believe I do have hooded eyes. I feel like I definitely just have very deep, deep set eyes. So my eye socket is like really like in there and I don't have much room between my brow and like my crease. So that's, you know, first world problems. Teddy, come here, come here. Lay down, please. Sit. Oh my God, this down. Down, okay, you wanna sit up here? You're gonna bother me. How about over here? Okay. Let's see how long he lasts up there. Did he sit? If you eat one of my beauty blenders, Teddy, I swear. Okay. Perfect. Center of attention where he likes to be. Okay, so I feel like both of these palettes have like a pop of coral, Aphrodite and Murray Sopia or something. So let's try the one from the Feral palette. I'm gonna dust that off and I'm just gonna place that in my crease as well. But I'm gonna keep it lower than the mustard. Ooh, that's a pretty color combo. Wow, that's like blending with the the yellow really beautifully and it's creating like a really pretty color. I don't even know how to explain it. And so far there hasn't been too much fallout with these shades, so that's good. Because I did not put any powder to catch any fallout. And then I want to try, should I put the purple on my lid? It's going to look weird, but I think I'm going to do it. I'm totally like winging this, you guys, so it looks weird. Just know I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the purple like in the one um, third, and then there's this beautiful like corally shimmer color in the ferro palette right here. I'm gonna put that on the next one third. And I don't think the payoff is the best right now. Okay, let me try my finger. Fine. Hmm. Still not the best color payoff. So that's kind of disappointing. And then I'm like tempted to just clean my brush on my towel. Okay, perfect. And then there's this neon green. I'm gonna put that in the last one third. I don't know guys, this is definitely not me as far as colors go, but I wanted to try out the palette Green's almost got like hard pan and I'm really digging into it to pick up some of the shade. I kind of feel like a piñata. Or like a weird um, like kid's toy. I think I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead on this eye look, but yeah. This is the vibe I went for, so there's that. I'm gonna finish up my eyes and I will be right back. Um, okay guys, so you saw the swatches, you saw the demo. 
Really quick, first impression on the Ferro palette. I love the colors, I really, really do. I'm a little bit freaked out by the formula. The shades almost like blended the away. I like to blend my shadows, so that's a little bit concerning. I think this would be a lot better if you just packed and I don't love that when it comes to how I do my makeup, but I will try it out. I do love the metallic colors. They're so unique, that like hot coral metallic is beautiful. So I like it. I'm not sure I love it. I'm not sure I love the formula. I have tried the Dragon Child palette and I was kind of mad at myself too when I ordered the Ferro palette. I was like, Karen, you haven't even given enough time to the Dragon Child palette. But this one, it's because I don't love the shades, but they swatch like super beautifully and I do need to give it more of a chance. I've just kind of been avoiding it because I'm like, I don't know about those shades. And then as far as the Divinity palette by Strobe Cosmetics, this one definitely reminds me of the formula of the Creepy Cute palette. And I actually like to use this in conjunction with some of my other palettes for when I need some essential like crease shades. The other day I used this green one with the Natasha Denona Gold palette because it has like a greeny gold shade. So I had fun putting this in my crease just to kind of give it a li little bit of a different look instead of using some of the matte in that particular palette. So that was really fun. If I had to pick one or the other, like say, like between the two, I'd probably pick this particular formula because it's a little bit easier to use but this is my first time using this particular formula from the Feral palette so don't like right now I kind of wish I hadn't bought either of these because I don't love them as much as I do like some of my Pat McGrath palettes so that's kind of my it's kind of what I'm like battling with right now I was hugely into indie this summer and I still love some of the stuff but I bought so much indie makeup um, that I'm kind of like exhausted from indie makeup too because a lot of people are like oh my gosh There's so many makeup launches and they're so tired and I'm totally feeling that way too right now um, And we're right in the middle of like the Sephora sale as I'm filming this so I'm kind of a hypocrite because I still bought more makeup It's true. I did so but yeah, I'm comparing these two palettes to some of the latest stuff I picked up from Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona and I find myself preferring those formulas. So that's my big takeaway from trying these palettes out. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was a little bit helpful if you've been thinking about picking these palettes up. Hopefully the demo helped. I like doing those for you guys just to give you an idea of how the shades apply. Plus I'm kind of very amateur at makeup too. So I, I think that kind of helps people when they're like, they see somebody that's in the same level because I see so many beauty gurus do so many beautiful eye looks and I'm like, ah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave me some comments down below with your thoughts and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.